Hi everyone. So in our previous video, we were looking into the backgrounds and we did a solid background color. So let's start from there where we actually left. So now this was a solid color. Let's like, you know, it is, it, it, it is looking nice, but then I want to give it a bit of a more character and uh, we can really do that. Like, you know, if we try to use some gradient. Okay, so now in our tool palette, like from here, we uh, color palette here, we took the color and there is, this is the dark color. So if we uh, give it a gradient from this primary color to this dark color and let's see how it looks and we will try to give it like, you know, from, from left to right. Okay, so how we can do that, I'll go back over here and where I'm defining the background color so here I'm defining the background color and let me just comment that and rather than saying background color I would say now background image now this background image gives us the option to define the image as well which we will see and the linear gradients are also defined or the radial gradients are also defined with the help of background image so I would say linear gradient and the first thing I want to define the direction I would say to right that is the direction now the first color is going to be this this color let me copy this from here and the second color is going to be our dark color where exactly is that here okay and here okay so I have not saved it yet and so this is how it is looking at, at the moment. Now let me come back and save and and you can see that immediately like you know the, 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 the overall look and feel has changed all of a sudden. Yeah. And it, it this gradient is really looking very nice compared to like you know what we had before. Okay. So that's how we can define the gradients. Now if I wanted to define uh, like uh, an image so let me comment this as well and that's then I can say background image and URL and this URL can point to a file locally in, on my system within the project folder structure or it can point to a URL as well so I have this file already opened okay from pixabay I'll copy it and I'll paste it here and let's see that how this comes okay here it is so now this is coming and by default like you know there is some uh, repetition also going on so for that I need to define some other properties like background size is equals to cover and the moment I do that that uh, it's, 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 it's filling the full available you know I don't need to worry about now the repetition and I also want it to be in the center yeah it's coming in the top at the moment so for that background position is going to be center and yeah it's looking nice but our text has really gone now so for uh, for that if I can use like you know kind of uh, uh, a color on the top of this one so maybe that would really be great so let's see how we can do that so I can I will comment this also but over here I will say background image yeah and now I can define the gradient and the URL at the same time so first I would say that give me this gradient yeah and then with the comma I will give this URL okay so what I'm doing here, I'm saying that give me this gradient first and then below. So this linear gradient is coming on the top and then there is an image going on or there is an image uh, at the bottom of the gradient. Yeah. So let's see. Now there is only gradient. I can't see the image at the moment because my gradient is not see through. And for that, if I just come over here, I can change the, op the opacity like, you know, from here as well. And it would still be in the hexadecimal notation but to see like you know how much we are giving it it's better to change it to like RGBA and this as well I'll change it a little bit and then I would change it to RGBA 
so now it i can see that my primary color is going like 89 percent so rather than 89 percent if i say point seven and i can change it as well after looking at that you know how it is coming and the dark side i would say point six so let's see how it comes now and you can see i think i can make it more darker and to do that i would say point eight and point seven or maybe point nine and point eight even point nine so like you can play around with it and see like you know what really uh, suits for your requirements or for your design so now this section is like you know really looking like a very good section for the top of your web page and if you include uh, your logo on the top of it and your navigation bar so all of that like you know so the your, your web page starts shaping uh, and, and the, the, the designs starts coming along so that's how like you know we really build it okay let me show you one quick technique that uh, if you want to control the gradient uh, at a certain position and from there to start so the idea is that i want to have it like kind of a diagonal in the middle and there there would be a solid color on the left and on the right there would be like in the same way a gradient going on with the image and i want this seo services and this all this text like you know in the center of this portion so that's what i want to do so how i can do that so i'll not change like you know i've done all, already much changes over here so i'll not change anything over here rather i will have another container so let me copy this and i would say this is container 2 okay and right and this is inside div 2 so now this is gone i th this exists over here everything is there yeah but i need to do the styling of course so only then the things uh, will be visible yeah okay so let's go back to our styling and first i need to do container 2 so for my container 2 let's do the same thing width is equals to 100 percent height is equals to 500 pixel and background image okay so first let me take this actually copy this background image from here and i'll tell you why because exactly it is the same thing we need to do over here as well but we just need to define some extra parameters okay so this is my light color okay and i am saying to right so rather than now saying to right let's give it a angle i am saying linear gradient 105 degree and this my first color i will not i want to make it a solid color so i will just make it rgb and i'll remove the alpha part and i want to say that i want this up to 50 percent this solid color yeah and the next color i want to start from where actually i will say that this 1.9 so this would be rgba and this should also start from 50 percent and for the last one this is 90 percent i'm saying i'm not defining like you know anything so that means that it is going up to 100 percent okay so see like you know the first color the solid color i have started have up to 50 percent and this one also i have created as at 50 percent with that kind of a 90 percent alpha now this will create a line at an angle of 105 degree and then there would be a gradient going on in the last and then below there is a see-through and you know, there is an image so just by doing it let's see how it works okay so it's kind of uh, what happened because both of my divs are working at like you know or uh, they're getting mixed into uh, each other there is no margin so on the top i can say uh, like for this container too I can define margin top is equals to 30 pixel okay and here it is so now okay so now you can see that this line is going on over here and in fact I would say margin 
bottom also 30 pixel just to see a little bit like you know from the bottom also all right so now you can see that i can see through this image from the right side this is 105 degree and up to 105 degree there is solid color going on so there is i cannot see it through and then my text is there now i want to have this text aligned and placed like you know at a certain location and that i will do shortly so for that let's do so this is inside div 2 so let me copy again the inside div from here because we are pretty much doing the same thing but with a bit of a different parameter so inside div this is my inside div 2 now the position is absolute now for this posi absolute position to work its parent container should be with the position relative so that's container 2 position is equals to relative and let's see how we are okay so exactly in 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 50 percent like you know from the top and from the left but i don't want it over here i want it to be on the left hand side so if this total is 100 percent and if at the moment it is 50 percent yeah this uh, uh inside dev 2 and also i have this thing like you know 105 degree or this gradient is also going on at 50 percent so if i push it by 25 percent on this side so i think my problem would be solved yeah so if i simply say that my left is 25 percent top is still 50 percent and then i translate it back by minus 50 percent and here it is so now this is all together giving us a different look so really like you know the possibilities are endless uh, once you understand uh, like how to use the elements and the css you can design anything and as we are building our knowledge more and more and there are some really really strong concepts coming later in the course so uh, yeah like css is powerful it is really powerful so anyway that that's uh, about the backgrounds and uh, there, there are plenty of more things which we can do and we will do actually because we have some big full website projects also coming down the line in our course so definitely we'll go through those so that's it for now thank you so much for being here and i'll see you in the next one